Hey y'all, welcome back to Probing the Truth. Welcome to this video. We're going to give a little bit of update on some of these state of emergencies that are going around. Because if you don't already know it, there's been a lot of them and they ain't stopping no time soon, it don't look like. So if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button down below. Be sure to tap the notification bell beside it so that you will be notified of all new videos. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share. So let's get to this. If you haven't been keeping up with some of the news, I know some of you have. Some of you just don't want to hear it anymore because I know it's getting old. Same old stuff on repeat. Something always crazy going on. Tensions are high, but we got to stay on our toes and we got to keep an eye out on what's going. So here's some of what's going on. We have monkeypox state of declarations for emergencies in New York City, New York State, California, Illinois. Uh, the Biden administration still says that they need to extend the C-19 public health emergency that we are still in part of this pandemic and that it's not over yet. Not only that, they're declaring a public health emergency for the monkeypox now going around. So we've got that also included. Western Australia has added 14 more days extension onto their C-19. So it's a whole lot that's going on. We have Kentucky under a state of emergency due to all of the flooding, which is just horrible. Our weather, we've got some craziness going on with our weather. One place is just so hot and dry that there's wildfires and the lakes are drying up. And then we've got other places that I hate to say it is underwater and flooding to the tops of their houses and people are losing their lives or losing their homes. And it's just a disaster. Uh, Michigan put four counties under a state of emergency due to a water main break. And they're saying that it is a boiling water emergency so that the water is unsafe to drink that is coming out of your faucet without boiling it first. So that's another thing that's happening. It's just a little bit of everything everywhere. I believe that the states of emergency are just going to continue more. I know in my state they have talked about also doing a declaration because of the monkeypox due to the C-19. And it's very low on cases and they're still wanting to go ahead and do it. So I believe that there's going to be more and more follow through with this, regardless of the situation of whether we like it or not. And then we're going to end up, I'm afraid, in lockdowns like China is in. Our supply chain is already in a mess. So the more that gets shut down and restart like that, the bigger mess we're going to continue to get into before winter gets here. So I wanted to update y'all on that if y'all did not know how many state of emergencies were going on and being declared around the area. Tensions are still high with China and Taiwan. Still high. Lots going on with Russia and Ukraine. And America kind of getting in the middle of all that. So that's not good either. Just wanted to update you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. God bless you. Keep prepping.